Good morning, modern steaders. Someone's playing a cruel trick on us. It snowed out last night, and it's flurrying out right now. What happened to the warm weather, Livies? Oh, I like the warm weather better. It was nice yesterday, huh? In the 50s. What do you think, Tanner? He says, what happened to the warm weather, guys? Have a good day at school. Okay. Love you. Love. You waiting for the school bus? We got some chickens to feed. Come on. They're hungry. <laughs> Come on in, girls. Put down there. We can open up their nest boxes now. You waiting nicely for us? Sit down. Good boy. All right, come on in. I had to put my ice cleats on. All down there is ice covered in snow. It's pretty slick. Those cinnamon rolls are delicious. I've never had fruit in a cinnamon roll before, but those blackberries are good. Next time we make them, we're gonna try doing blueberries in them. Let's see how those are. We hear you, Hope, we hear you. I'll let you out in a minute. That's some good stuff. Want to come out and about for a few minutes? The other goats are locked out. But we'll let you out here for a little bit. What do you think? Give it a good shake. We'll let Hope explore the rest of the barn for a little while and familiarize herself with it. Smell all the other girls. Oh, so close. Oh, you were so close. How'd you get up there, Hope? Huh? You got camera tripod stuck on you. <laughs> Silly. Can <sighs> huh, I jump back up? <laughs> yeah! You did that like a pro. And you've been doing it every day. Come back out in a little while, and when I do, we'll bring the other girls in. We'll let you all play together, see what happens, okay? Enjoy your breakfast. Ciao, buttercups. Willow, you got a wig on. Silly goats. I thought I heard you out here, Figaro. You up to no good? 
be causing trouble. Look at all the snow we already melted. Holy moly, guys. Just the other day, the snow is up to the top of these fences. I didn't even have to step over them. I just walked right across. That's a good sign. Playing king of the mountain, Pluto. What are you doing? Figure out. Now the fence is up. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Moose. Hey, girl, you don't go in New York City. Uh -uh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Figaro does like coming out and doing our chores with us though. Crazy cat. <laughs> Holy eggs. I love that this flock starts laying so early in the morning. Come on, Pluto, let's go in. Figure out will come. Cook up a chicken tonight for dinner. It'll be a good night to have. It'll be a good week to have soup one night. We're supposed to be having some cold nights this week. I can tell it's getting to be that time of the year too because we're running low on chickens in the freezer. Set it on low. We'll let it cook all day. Were you sleeping by the wood stove? You were. You're nice and warm. You're a smart dog. We're gonna be getting some eggs in the mail shortly, so I wanna get our incubator set up, get it running, get the humidity up. Just, the rule of thumb is, is you should have your incubator set up and running for a few days before you get your eggs and put your eggs in your incubator. I normally don't do that, but this year we're going to. The incubator I use is a Wrights Farm Product Model 3600. It's from coopsandmore.com. If you go over to Coop some more and buy any products, if you use promo code LUMNA, you'll get 10% off your order. I don't remember the price of the incubator. This is our third year. This will be our third season hatching with it. The 3600 model will hatch out 36 eggs and quite chicken eggs and quite a few more quail eggs. Inside is a piece of styrofoam for shipping. I have my instructions. And then comes the bottom pot and the styrofoam. I like to leave mine right in the styrofoam. It helps keep it warmer. This is the egg turner. Take the egg turner out. And I'll take out the other lining in here to show you. I like to fill it all up with water up to the bottom of this groove. Inside here you got a plug plug in the egg turner. 
this metal ring. That's what, it's an electric element and it heats up and that's what creates the heat for the incubator. Then we got a fan in here. We have, I think this is the temperature probe. And this one right here is gonna be for humidity. I don't know how many of y'all have this incubator and if it would apply to you or not, but our day counter won't reset. So it said what you need to do is hold the plus and minus button together for six seconds. And that should do a factory reset. Let's see. Ah, that worked, guys. Ah, we went back to zero on the day counter, so that'll be nice. Normally what you're supposed to do is just hit the reset button, the screen reset button right here, and it's supposed to reset the day, but it didn't. So instead of, if you need to do like a factory reset, you hold the plus and minus. So now I want to make sure the temperature is set for 100. Temperature set for 100. The humidity on this one you can't set, but there's an alarm, and if it gets below 45% humidity, the alarm goes off, and then we know we need to add water. The egg turner turns the eggs every two hours when we get to day 18 we're going to take our egg turner out so what we're doing right now is we're just making sure everything works right so when we get our eggs here we will have the best success for the best hatch rate i also like to keep the styrofoam on top it just helps keep the heat in the more heat that stays in the less electricity we're going to use to keep the incubator warm Glad we got this up and running, and I'm looking forward to hatching out eggs. I think it just screams springtime, and we've had such a long winter here. There's so many things we haven't been able to do. We've been snowed in since November. I think it's 15th or 17th. I'll put a link to a video right here. This was the first snowstorm we got, and it was like a foot or two foot of heavy, wet stuff all at once, unexpected. And we haven't lost the snow since, guys, so... I can't wait till we have a big melt and we can get outside, we can stop building the barn, we can have baby chicks, we can have our pigs. Oh, it's been a long winter, guys. I'm so excited. Tanner keeps picking the best spots to nap today. No, oh, you crazy dog. It might be slippery. I got my cleats to hold my hands. Oh, I gotta put my ice cleats back on. Oh, hopey dope. Oh, goaty goats. You ate all your hay and all your chaff hay. You're a good eater. You've been eating so good lately. You have been. You nice and warm? Yep. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on you. It's cold. I can't stand on my hand, girl. Hey, you wanna go out and see the girls again for a little bit? out in the farm area. Let well, you get to see the girls. I'll let you out first. Don't jump on me. Hi Lilo! Crunch down. Yeah, she yeah, she headbutted your knee. Yep. Watch your leg. Oh. Oh, 
just try it. Hope don't like you, Buttercup. She don't like me. Hope you like the seaweed. Huh? Tell it go, it's like, she's eating our seaweed. You like that? Go back in, hope. I like this mud. You have fun playing in the mud. Yeah, only because it's not snow. Yeah. I like getting my feet stuck in it. Ready to go out? You ready, Pluto? Come on. Let's go. Yeah, it's not icy on this side. That's why I switched my boots. Come on, guys. He's like, ouch, that hurt. Oh, he's scared of that. Is that scaring you? No, oh, that was a good splash. He didn't even do that on one on purpose. Guys, it's bottoming out. I don't know why it's so low. The tire, I think has air in it. Yeah, the tire's got air in it. Must have just sank this winter. <sighs> Thank you, ladies. You coming? If you can make it, right? Come on! I'm scared of that. There's a, it's a boogie monster! Pluto! Pluto don't even care about that stuff. <laughs> it's so nice to see our driveway again. <sighs> I gotta get the chicken some more water. I drank it all today. It's nice and warm in the greenhouse. Tonight I thought we'd roast up some frozen asparagus and Brussels sprouts to go with our chicken. I gotta need a bigger bowl. Hold on one second. That's better. I'm gonna use a bag of frozen Brussels sprouts. and frozen asparagus. I'm gonna cover ours with avocado oil. You can also use olive oil. Most of the time, we don't have enough healthy fat in our diet. I'm not talking like regular vegetable oil, I mean like avocado oil, good olive oil, good grass-fed meat fats. We're lacking that in our diets. 
just want to coat everything nicely with the oil. Then I'm going to use two cloves of garlic. You can either skin them by hand or it works really good. There's one of these silicone rolly thingamajiggies. You put your garlic in there and give it a good little roll a roll, rolly rolly, rolly poly. And look at that. It's a beautiful naked bulb of garlic. We had a viewer send us up this garlic press. I never even knew they made such a thing till this year. And I'll tell you what, we've never used so much garlic in our life now. Gonna use some onion powder, as much as you like. If you like onions, use a lot of it. If you don't, don't use any. That's how I cook. I cook to my liking. That's one of the reasons why I love cooking. I'm a picky eater. Trust me, ask my parents. They'll let you know how much of a picky eater I was. I'm gonna try some Italian seasoning. A lot of viewers have been leaving it in the comments about putting Italian seasoning on our roasted vegetables. So we'll give it a try. If you're a picky eater like me, if you cook, you learn to cook good pretty fast. Because if you don't like it, you're not going to eat it. And then you wasted a lot of money. So that's how I've developed my cooking skills over the years. Is I'm picky. Alright, so now we're going to give everything a nice little stir. Get the seasonings evenly coated throughout. Mm, I just But uh, I won't. Give it a smell. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna roast them in our oven that's preheated to 400 degrees. One of the best things about cooking a whole chicken is we get to use the carcass to make bone broth so we can make some soup later on this week with the leftovers. I'm going to save you. <laughs> We're working on letting Hope out with the other goats a little bit at a time. I haven't got any of it on camera, but every once in a while, all three of them, three of the other goats will be able to gang up on Hope. We're able to get right in and break it up right away, but we're not leaving her out with the other goats because we don't want her to get hurt. I wish we could. I'm hoping tomorrow, since it warms, it's supposed to be warmer, that we can let her out into the barnyard with the other goats and to see how they interact, let her run around and jump around. So that's the goal. And we're doing all of this slowly so Hope doesn't get hurt. We would hate for Hope to get hurt. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. I know there's a lot of us going through some hard stuff right now, so I just want to give all of us a friendly reminder. In the end, some of our greatest pains become our greatest strengths. Life is happening for us and not to us. Oh, I love those quotes. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here 
in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and